Yeah, so I remember back in the day when it was only cool for Jamaicans to have dreads. <laughs> Nowadays, everybody getting them, but you know, you can dye them. Dreads are just so versatile and so cool. You can you can dye them different colors. And um, I'm here in Memphis. Everybody usually dyeing theirs, you know, either red or just bright yellow or gold. You know, but what happens when you mix white people with black people? You get mixed boys with dreads, you know, mixed little girls with dreads. And I think it's just cool. You know, I think uh, anybody you are, you can get dreadlocks. And if, if you got a back comb, if you got a crochet, whatever you got to do to make those dreads pop, make it happen. You know, it's just a cool style. It's a cool culture. It's nice, you know. Um, and my kids, personally, my kids are mixed. You know, uh, two of them, they both got different hairstyles. I mean, hair textures. One of them is real, real straight, and the other one, his kind of nap up a little bit more. So when I take them to get dreads, they got to they gotta do different methods, you know. My son Charles, he has to uh, uh, get crocheted, you know, just because his hair is so straight. Crocheted, it back combed first, then crocheted just to create the naps. But once they get done, it's a cool look. My son Keyshawn, you can just twist his up, just finger coils. You don't even need a comb or nothing. It's gonna be some nice little curls and they just look like twists. But you give them time and they just locked up and they look real nice, some nice thick boy dreads. So, you know, um, I've had people ask me questions in the comments section saying, why have mixed kids? Why mixed races and then try to get them dreads? Like, man, that wasn't the aim or nothing. You know, my wife is white. I just, you know, fell in love with her. We got married, had kids, and um, then I'm like, oh, well, let me see how can I make them dreads, you know? So then I decided to uh, make the channel, you know, showing people how they get mixed dreads and rubber band dreads and just to do them. You know, I just like dreadlocks. I love people, you know? I love my wife. I think white people can get dreads if they want to. I think white people look real cool with dreads. You know, um, they be thicker. A lot of times they be thicker because they got to do back combing and um, crocheting and uh, methods like that. But, you know, it is, it's a, it started off, you know, black culture, you know, and everything. And I, I respect that. And it's just dreads are so versatile. You know, you can rock them short, rock them long, you know, rock them different thicknesses and uh, different lengths. And um, some people start them off with uh, finger coils. Some people start them off with, as you know, uh, comb coils or rubber band method or free form or semi free form. You got dread afros. You know, you, once you get the dreads done, you can get them braided. You know, dyed. You know, you can keep them short, rock them long. It's just. So many different things you can do, so many different styles you can rock, you know, and so many different ways you can um, take care of them. Some people like to keep their dreads all natural. They won't add any oils or anything in it just to go for that natural feel. Some people add oils in there, you know, to, um, they want to keep their hair strong and healthy, you know, uh, by using oils, but, you know, natural work too. Um, but anyway, I just like the whole culture behind dreads, you know, and I believe anybody who gets dreads, they become part of that culture. I don't take it all um, deep like some people. They think, you know, just a lot of stuff and, and, and go into deep meaning of dreadlocks. For me, I'm going to be real with you. It's, it's just a hairstyle, but it's also part of a culture of, of being of showing your swag and you can be original because really there are really no two dread styles alike you know somebody gonna rock theirs different you know and i encourage people to be different don't just uh do it because this is what your your homeboy got or you've seen somebody with it you know take it and make it your own you know you want thick dreads go real thick get you some thick dreads you want some thinner dreads Rock them. You want to rock yours in braids? Rock them in braids. You want to put them in a pony? Put them in a ponytail. You know, um, I just uh, 
I just like dreads, you know, and uh, when I see people with dreads, you know, usually I spark up a conversation with them. But I know everybody is getting dreads now, and it's common, but still, man, you won't know until you get them. You'll be like, oh, man, every single dread got a story to tell. It's like, man, I remember when this one started, or this is my thickest one, or if you got them all the same, and then people be counting them, you know, it's just, it's just so much fun. It's uh, definitely low maintenance um, just to be able to not have to, you know, brush your hair a thousand times to get waves and all of that. You know, you just rock your dreads. So if you're thinking about getting some dreads, don't hesitate, don't wait. Just go ahead and do it.